Amen. Pastor, Pastor um, Smith. I keep getting ready to call you married. Pastor Smith, we thank God for you. And to all the ministers and elders and evangelists here tonight, we honor you, Evangelist Blackwell, and everyone in their respective places. To my mother, Mother Smith, give God praise for her. Thank God for her traveling mercies, bringing us safely over the highways. Thanks, Sister Sharon, for bringing her out tonight. Amen. Amen. We thank God for his goodness, his mercy, and his loving kindness. Before we get into the word, I just want some of the saints, uh, if, if um, Sister Millie will get a song together. Do you all have a mic that you could yeah. let her hold? Yes. And Sister Millie get a song. Why she getting a, a song? I want um, Sister Kim just to greet the house. Mother Smith and Mother and Sister Sharon, if y'all will greet the house. Amen. Amen. Just we we family tonight, y'all. So we don't have to have no air. Kim and then uh, Sister Sh uh, Vandal Sharon, Prophet Sharon, and and Mother Smith in that order, and then Sister Millie closing up. Sister Cheryl, Vandal Cheryl, and her husband Deacon, they're here tonight. Do y'all want to also greet us? I know you testify. Amen. Amen. Oh man, Cheryl got a song in it when I. Amen. So Kim, you want to come and. and, and, and um, <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We want to thank God for being here on tonight and to honor our apostle, Shelly. Amen. Lady Shelly. Amen. Okay. All right. We, we, we just want to say praise the Lord, everybody. Yes. Just yes. thank God for being here on tonight and to honor you, your birthday. Thank you. Thank God for 70, 60, 66 years. My mistake. 66 years. Amen. In the kingdom. Amen. and to say, you know, continue to go on in God's grace and continue to allow him to use you for your glory, for, you. for his glory. Bless Amen. You. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. We just want to give honor to God on tonight yes. and just greet the house. Say happy birthday to Apostle. Yes. I thank you for the days of Edgewood. Yes. I was young. When I was going to Edgewood, I went to your basketball games, but yeah, it was some days, some good times then. I just want to say happy birthday to you in the house. Praise the Lord. And Lady Shelly, uh, overseer, that she would continue to grow in the way that the Lord has her to grow. Amen. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. 
the spirit of Christ and to everyone in their respective places. Yeah. Thank God for these great musicians, great yeah. singers, yeah. and we give God praise for all of his goodness and his mercy and love and kindness unto yeah. us. It's, it's good to be here tonight, and we're not going to hold you. We just want to share a few things right from the word of the Lord, yeah. and we'll move out of your way. Amen? Yeah. Amen. We thank God tonight. I was looking up your topic or your theme and the theme is coming from Psalm 12 Psalm 12 and 1 and if you would turn with me to Psalm 12 and 1 help Lord yes. help Lord can you turn to your neighbor and say I don't know about you, I don't know about you. but I need the Lord to help, me. to help me. Anybody in, in here tonight need some help? Come on, lift your hands up. Come on, say help, Lord. Help, Lord. In Jesus' name. 
Jesus' name. Amen. For a subtopic I'd like to use, Jesus is my help. Jesus is my help. And in this particular text, Psalm 12, verse 1, it says, Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. For the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful man fail from among the children of men of men. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips, and with a double heart do they speak. Uh, I, I want to call your attention to this, to this verse of scripture, and I want to just focus on verse 1 tonight. Verse 1, it says, Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful fail, from among the children of men. Yes. Have you ever needed help in this life? Yes. Yes. We all at some point or another need help from someone. Most of us don't like to ask for help, but there are times when you need to ask God for yes. help. Yes. Little children as they're growing up sometimes say, I can do it, I can do it. But yet they still need our help. The word help here comes from a Hebrew word, Yahshua, Yahshua, and it, and it means to open wide, to be free, to be safe, to free or secure, to defend, to deliver, to help or preserve, rescue, be safe, bring having salvation, save, or get victory. Can we say amen? amen? It occurs about 205 times in the Bible, and there are about 198 verses that have this word help. Somebody say help. Help. It is supposed that David penned this psalm in Saul's reign. Yeah. When there was a general decay of honesty and piety both in court and country. Yes, come on. Which here he complains to God and is very feeling for he, he himself suffered by the treachery of false friends. Anybody has some false friends? And the insolence of his sworn enemies. He begs help of God because there were none among men whom he durst trust. He fought he foretells the destruction of his proud and threatening enemies. How many of you know when you belong to God and the enemy is threatening you, he's headed for destruction? Yeah. Yeah. He assures himself and others that how uh, ill soever things went, now God would preserve and rescue right. himself to his own people and would certainly make good his promises to them. Whether this psalm was penned in Saul's reign or not, it is certainly calculated for a bad reign. And perhaps David in spirit foresaw that some of his successors would bring things to as bad a pass as, as is here described. And treasured up in this psalm for the use of the church then, O tempera, O morris, O the times, O the manners. And he pens this psalm and says to the chief upon Sheminith, a psalm of David. Yes. How many of you know a psalm of David is a song? Yes. Yes. A song is a prayer or a hymn or a musical selection accompanied with music. Yes. Somebody said sing a, sing a song. And so psalms were very important in those times. The Bible says be filled with the spirit. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual psalms, making melody in your heart to the Lord. How many of you know it's important to have a song? Yes. You ought to be able to have a song. And, and we used to say, and we do say, and sometimes we say, we don't need no music. We got the Holy Ghost. Yes. But I want you to know music has its place. Yes. And some of y'all, amen, will stop singing or stop dancing when the music stops. Can I get a witness here? 
So ain't no use you even saying we don't need no music. <laughs> Can I get a witness in here? I used to say, Pastor, that we don't, don't might not need none, but it sure does help. I want to thank God tonight how he's blessing your ministry, ministry of music. Yeah. I give God a praise. I'm looking at the young men playing and it makes my heart feel good because they're not just banging, they're just not hitting, but they're making music. Somebody yeah. shout hallelujah. I asked the apostle and he told me that God... Uh, 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 overseer got a keyboard and got some music for her grandson and, and he's been a man. I did my first time hearing him, but you sounded mighty good, sir. Yeah. All of y'all. Yeah. Or the drums too. They might not mean much to you all, but it sounds good to me. Yeah. And not only you just beating loud, but you know when to get loud and you know when to bring it in. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. I want to say unto you, Shabazz, keep on playing. God is elevating your anointing in uh, music ministry. Yeah. There's going to be many that's going to come after you, but pray. Be a blessing to this house. Yeah. And, 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 and as you be a blessing to this house and God's people, there's not going to be nothing that you're going to want. Yeah. Somebody ought to give God a praise. There's not going to be nothing that you're not going to want. And, and because you have set yourself aside, and not only you, but but but, but your co your cousins, right? right? Your cousin over here on, 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 the, on the drums, on the drums and on the congos there. Amen. Because you all are honoring God, God is going to honor you. God is bringing you favor. Amen. Whatever you desire God to do. You don't have to make no big fanfare about it. Just tell him. Just talk to him right. in quiet, in secret. Yeah. You don't have to tell nobody, and he's going to bring it to pass in your life. Yeah. Speedily. Yeah. Because you're in a blessed place. Somebody ought to give God a praise. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm glad to see what God is doing with the young brothers. Yeah. I know this is making the apostle happy, yeah. and I'm not this and the sisters, thank God for the sisters. Because yeah. yeah. I, I told the saints, get off the sisters, because if we didn't have the sisters, we wouldn't have much church. Yeah. All right. All right. Somebody say, leave them alone, because I want you to know uh, uh, they were the last ones at the cross. Yeah. When Jesus was on the cross, it was Mary and the other Mary and, 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 and his aunt and other Marys, they were the ones that were at the cross That's when right. the brothers was running. Y'all ain't going to say amen. amen. When Peter and them was, was, was denying him and Judas betrayed him, but it was the women still at the cross. His mother was still there. My God, she followed him. Oh, the Bible said that she, she took those things in her heart. Even from a child, she knew it was something special about Jesus. But when everybody else was running and hot, it was Mary that said, Lord, show me where you laid him. Yes. Somebody said they were the last at the cross right. and first at the tomb. Can I get a witness in here? Not only were they the first at the tomb, but then she was the first one to go tell the good news. He's risen. Yeah. Just like he said he would. Oh, somebody shout out. Help, is her help. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah, yeah. And so I want to say I, I, I see a special anointing upon these young men. And I and I talked to Apostle and he shared with me of the, their love and, and desire to play sports and how they are excelling. And I'm glad to hear that. I I, I, I was a young man growing up, yeah. and Apostle was a little older than me, but when I was growing up, we used to imitate him. He was a star. I don't know. Y'all, some of y'all might not, you know, y'all, that's pop. That's possible. But when we were growing up, the name Ron Shelley, that meant he was a basketball star. And many of us, when we played Apostle, we wanted to be like him. He had a shot. He had a, he wasn't just shoot just like everybody else. He would pack, pack it back over here on the side. Somebody shout hallelujah. That was anointing on him, even at a young age. And so now I see him 
pouring into his, his grandchildren, his sons, and, and those that are around him. Ah, oh, my God, I feel good down in my spirit. He was just sharing with me. Ah, uh, uh, as, 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 Pastor, as Pastor Smith testified, uh, how many of y'all know it's important to listen to the word of the prophet? Hallelujah. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall prosper. And believe in prosper, and it shall be established. Somebody shout hallelujah. Woman of God just stepped out on what the apostle told her. Blackwell. Somebody give God a praise. God's been just sharing how that he opened the doors and the, and, and the blessing and the jobs because you acted on the word. My God, how you acted on the word. I remember when you were going through on Facebook and all that mercy. But God, he just shared with me that God had just turned some stuff around for you. Because you have a heart of love. And even though the enemy sometimes folks trying to get over, but they know it's getting over, it will just set you up to be blessed. Because God said, he that humbles himself, he will exalt. This is your season to be exalted in the name of the Lord. For all that you went through, all the tears you cried, all the holy animals that come on and the pain that you went through, this is the season release of the blessing out of everything you desire. We decree in this season, increase. You'll have more money than you, than you can stand because you are a giver and because you love the blessing. Helpful God has put it in your mind. You found out he can trust you. He can trust you. Yeah, even when you put trace in her, you still trust in him. Thank you. 
when Saul was still reigning there was backbiters haters treachery see when you belong to God and when you're anointed sometimes you'll go through a season where you'll be around haters you'll go through a season see because you're anointed the devil's already peeked into your future and he's trying to keep you from getting to where God is trying to take you you're crazy, don't think it's strange I want you to know David was anointed king when he was still watching his father's sheep uh, bye, bye. come on up in here sister. you're wondering when, when Lord and why Lord and maybe what's wrong with you Lord there ain't nothing wrong, David got anointed king and after he got anointed king, you know what he did? Somebody ought to give God a praise. Somebody ought to give him a praise. You were protected. 
Alright, alright. Uh-uh, so somebody say I'm protected. But the enemy can't get me down because I'm in the city of refuge. But the problem was you could not leave the city. Because the body don't leave the city. Some stuff you did by accident. But you and I have to stay under the refuge of God. You had to stay there because as long as you stay there, there was divine protection. I feel like Richard. There was divine protection that would cover you. Take what you said and not how 
you said it and carry it over there and next thing you know somebody mad at you. That's why if you can't say it in front of the person's face, don't say it. Because you don't want to give the devil no place. Tell somebody, don't give the devil no place. That's why I said this because told if you can't say nothing good, don't say it. Don't say it, man. Don't say nothing at all. Number three, I'm about done. The faithful fail. In Psalm 12 and 1, he says, the faithful fail. Even the faithful, David said, fail. Yes, yes. He was seeing that those that were so-called that he had his confidence in, his, his hope in, he saw them failing. Mm. He even failed. Deuteronomy 7 and 9. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments up to a thousand generations. A faithful man may fail, but God's faithfulness never fails. How many of you know you can trust him? Somebody say you can trust him when you can't trace him. When you don't know what he's doing, you can still trust him. That, that, that's, why, that's why you got to walk in your integrity. In other words, keep doing what's right even when ain't nobody around. Even when you're in the storms of life and look like you're Amen. You can't see. They, they told me that, that, that the, a pilot, when he's flying, apostle, when he's flying, sometime up there, it's so dark, so cloudy, he don't know east, west, north, or south. But what he has, he has his instruments. He has his compasses, which tell him which way is to go. And so what he does when he can't see where he's going, he trusts his instruments. Saints of God, I want to encourage you tonight. Trust your instruments. What is your instrument? Your instrument is the word of God. Keep doing what's right. When you can't see your way out, keep doing what's right. Keep walking in love. Keep overcoming evil by doing good. Somebody trust your instruments. <laughs> know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is the faithful God, which keepeth covenant. You can put your trust in him. When you can't trust nobody else, you can trust in him. Deuteronomy 31 and 6, 6 says, be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them, for the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Somebody needs to hold on to that word tonight. He will not forsake thee. He will not fail thee. Open your mouth and say, he won't fail me. Old folk used to say, God has never failed me yet. And can I get a witness in here? He has never failed us. And he's faithful. We can trust in him.
Natasha, overseer, you're beautiful. God has blessed you. He has kept you. And you shall enjoy this latter day like never before. Come on, somebody, put your hand together.